Ponteria Cooperative Group is a global nutrition company owned by 10,000 farming families in New Zealand, and it is the world's largest exporter of dairy products. Before starting my presentation, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the organizing committee for inviting me to speak today. I will talk to you about delivering improved functional and gastric digestion properties through advanced whey protein ingredients. I will start my talk by highlighting that malnutrition is a severe problem in older adults and convalescent patients. Over 80% of the elderly patients are likely to experience it, and it also doubles the risk of hospital patient mortality and increases the length of hospital stay. Of course, this comes with a significant financial cost to the healthcare systems. The majority of the cases of malnutrition in developed nations is associated with insufficient protein intake. Along with the reduction in physical activity, insufficient protein intake in older age contributes to the development of sarcopenia, which is the cause of lower health outcomes for a range of conditions. The protein requirement increases with older age because of a higher susceptibility to muscle loss caused by a higher body protein turnover. There are also changes to the gastrointestinal function with age, which reduces the ease of digestion and absorption of protein. However, as seen in this image, sarcopenia is not an inevitable part of aging and can be improved through a good quality protein and appropriate physical activity. As described earlier in nutrition sessions, whey protein is a high quality dairy protein. It is not only naturally high in essential amino acids, and the branch chain amino acids, but also uniquely high in the amino acid leucine, which is thought to be critical for the stimulation of muscle protein synthesis. This high level of leucine, as well as a unique digestion profile that results in a pronounced peak of amino acids in the blood, enables whey protein to stimulate muscle protein synthesis in young and older adults. Through all these unique nutritional properties, whey proteins can serve as an excellent source of nutrition for the people who need it most. Oral nutritional supplements that are prescribed to malnourished individuals typically come in a ready-to-drink format, which is convenient and palatable by design. These nutritional beverages, like many other liquid products, are subjected to high heat treatments during processing. This enables the product safety and extended shelf life. Although whey proteins have significant potential for use in oral nutritional supplements, their use is very limited because of their susceptibility to heat-induced destabilization. Thermal treatments cause whey proteins to denature irreversibly and to polymerize into aggregates or gels. As a consequence, the products show undesirable sensory attributes, such as grittiness, lumpiness, and high viscosity, and also has limited shelf life due to sedimentation or gelation soon after production. These problems are more prevalent in formulations with higher whey protein content, leading to products with large aggregates and a risk of extensive fouling and blocking the production plant. The design of whey protein ingredients with enhanced heat stability characteristics would overcome many of these challenges. Microparticulation of whey protein is an advanced technology that produces microaggregates with enhanced heat stability. The protein microaggregates formed through this process show limited interaction with each other upon heating. Because the number of free tile groups that is normally available to form larger aggregates is significantly reduced. We can describe these protein microparticles as a combination of native proteins and both soluble and insoluble protein aggregates. The protein microparticles demonstrated in this presentation are designed through a unique patented process developed by Fonterra and dried into a whey protein concentrate at 80% protein, similar to a standard whey protein concentrate. One of the key parameters that relate to the functional properties of whey protein microparticles is the extent of protein denaturation. As shown in this chromatograph here, whey protein microparticles show a significant reduction in the total amount of denaturable protein 
compared to a standard WPC. And a closer look into their microstructure confirms that the denatured whey proteins is restricted to a de certain degree of aggregation and the aggregate particle size is tightly controlled. There are some key factors required for the successful use of microparticulated whey proteins in liquid nutritional applications. First one is the high heat stability. This graph shows the change in the storage modulus, which describes the solid-like properties of 15% protein solutions during heating and holding at 85 degrees C for 30 minutes. For a standard WPC80 solution, a significant increase in solid-like properties is obvious upon heating, which corresponds to the formation of a strong gel. In contrast, microparticulated WPC-80 solution under the same heating conditions does not form a gel and remains stable throughout the complete heating profile. Secondly, small particle size for shelf life stability so that the particles do not sediment out during, during shelf life and also do not cause undesirable sensory attributes such as powderiness or grittiness. During microparticulation, it is essential to ensure whey proteins retain its nutritional properties. Comparisons between standard and microparticulated whey proteins show that not only does microparticulated whey share the same protein digestibility amino acid score, but it also shares the rapid plasma amino acid response that characterizes whey proteins. Last but not least is the palatability. It is known that whey protein hydrolysates are also known for bioactivity and functionality, but they also have a distinct unpleasant bitter taste. Microparticulation doesn't disrupt the intact protein structure, therefore it has the same palatability as the standard whey protein. So all in all, a microparticulated whey protein ingredient provides the full nutritional value of a standard WPC while delivering all the benefits like good thermal stability with no gelation or sedimentation, as well as good taste and texture. Moving to an example, here we compared either standard WPC-80 or microparticulated WPC-80 in an emulsion system that is similar to a beverage with a constant oil concentration but increasing protein content. These emulsions were subjected to a retort process at 120 degrees C for 10 minutes. When standard WPC-80 was used, Large visible aggregates were formed upon heating at 4% protein. The microstructure image of the 4% protein emulsion indicates an extensive protein aggregation in the continuous phase. In comparison, no gelation was observed up to 12% protein for the microparticulated WPC-80 emulsions. To further investigate this, we separated the serum phase of the emulsions by centrifugation and looked at the amount of soluble protein in the serum phase. The results show that the amount of soluble protein in the serum phase of 11% protein using microparticulated whey was equal to the 3% protein for standard WPC. What does this actually tell us? The soluble serum proteins in the emulsions play a major role in the stability of beverages. The non-absorbed serum proteins promote aggregation during heating by acting as a bridge between the protein layers of surrounding droplets. In microparticulated WPC emulsions, the non-absorbed serum proteins is in a stable, non-reactive conformation and does not contribute to the further aggregation upon retort heat treatment. This allows a higher protein content to be added into liquid formulations without compromising the texture. One of the other advantages that microparticulated whey protein can provide is a minimal increase in viscosity upon heating. Therefore, by combining the microparticulated whey proteins with other dairy proteins, such as milk proteins, it is possible to further increase the total protein content without increasing the viscosity. Here, an example is provided for 6 to 40 whey to casein ratio combinations 
which provides a way dominant formulation with lower viscosity compared to the milk protein concentrate alone at the same protein content. And no obvious gelation was also observed up to 20% protein. Until here, we have talked about the functional benefits of microparticulated whey proteins. Now, we will move on to look at an example for digestion benefits of such formulation. An important underlying cause of upper gastrointestinal intolerance is delayed gastric emptying. Different proteins can be associated with different gastric emptying due to their coagulation behavior in the gastric conditions. Coagulated protein may delay gastric emptying since the curd behaves like a stolid in the stomach. And the delayed gastric emptying often causes gastric retention, which may result in reduced nutritional intake. It is known that casein and whey proteins behave very differently under gastric conditions. Upon interaction with gastric acid, caseins coagulate to form a curd, while whey proteins remain in solution. We explored how incorporation of microparticulated whey protein to a liquid nutritional product can alter the coagulation in the stomach. We used a dynamic in vitro technique, which simulates the digestion profile over four hour period. Using this method, we compared a microparticulated whey enriched formula over a casein dominant formula at the same protein and the same energy content. The casein dominant formula produced a solid coagulate after simulated gastric digestion. Interestingly, the microparticulated whey protein enriched formula didn't form any coagulate after gastric digestion, despite the presence of 40% casein proteins in this formula. So the presence of microparticulated whey protein prevented caseins from clotting. Non-coagulation behavior of microparticulated whey protein can improve the gastric emptying and prevent gastric retention. This can be a great strategy to improve the gastric conditions of malnourished individuals and allow them to increase their nutritional intake. Overall, microparticulated whey protein is an advanced technology that delivers not only the same protein quality as whey proteins, but enables the delivery of heat-stable, high-protein beverages with low viscosity that is palatable and easy to digest and provides a quick absorption of essential amino acids into the bloodstream. With these unique benefits, microparticulated whey protein is an excellent source of protein for liquid nutritional products.